What is going on guys? Today I'm in my 2005 Audi TT 3.2. The problem that we got going on is, man, I got some squeaky brakes. So I've been reading a little bit online and I saw um, brake cleaner could be a solution if uh, you're not like ready to get your brakes changed just yet. Probably still have a little bit of life left on these brakes, but they are quite squeaky. They probably squeak since about half the life, which is kind of bad, but you know, we're gonna go and try this out. It could be a little bit of the dirt and the corrosion that could be making it. Not sure, it could be, but I'm not positive. But um, I'll see if I can get a little brake squeal for you. I can imagine it's gonna get a uh, pretty loud squeal when I come around this turn over here. So I'm heading on uh, over to AutoZone to pick up a little can of the aerosol, like brake cleaner real quick. It's like six, seven bucks to my belief, so I'm gonna go see what I can do with it. Oh, little squeak, not too bad, not too bad. Pretty good today, surprisingly. Yeah. Pickup has been made. Two dollars and ninety-nine cents. Three eighteen after tax. We got the AutoZone non-coordinated brake cleaner. It cleans and dries quickly. All this and all that. Two ninety-nine. Three nineteen after tax. I feel like with that price, no matter what this does, it's worth it. Like I was really surprised when it was only two ninety-nine. That is ridiculous. Let's go try this out. We have a uh, arrive back at the house. My rims are quite dirty and the brakes are extremely dirty. We do have this can of brake cleaner as you can check on there. It does say it uh, helps brake squeaks and chatter. Maybe I want to chatter with my brakes. Like, hey brakes, how you doing? It's like, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Alrighty, brakes. Well, we're about to go and shut you up with this stuff if it works correctly. And all the warnings and dangers and all this stuff, do not get this in your eyes. I feel like I saw a bunch of stuff online. It's like stabbing yourself in the eye don't don't do that keep it off your skin you don't want your skin to burn that's pretty obvious and you don't want to inhale the vapors there is a lot of stuff and a lot like birth defects and yeah the, these rim these rims these brakes are about to get a beating well i'm gonna go spray this on brakes have been squeaking all day i'm gonna go see if it makes a difference it says apply generously and then wipe it off with a little rag so i'm gonna be quite generous with the brakes let's see what we can go and do i'm just gonna get on in there Gotta get way back, I don't wanna. Straight on there, gotta stay back, don't want it in my face. We get on in towards the rim. Actually, the rotor that is. Gonna get all this. I'm gonna get these brakes real quick and I'm gonna come back to you because I feel like filming, I'm gonna be like, like breathing on in, so. Let's go see I'm what's noticing going on. is this stuff really works. This is a dirty uh, brake caliper, dirty rotor, dirty all that, dirty. We're gonna head on over all the way around to the other side that I just did. Oh my God. My, it's actually pretty serious stuff. For $2.99, your brakes go from black to looking quite nice. So, it passes the looks test for sure. That's, that's a most definite. Walk around before we take it out. These brakes are a lot cleaner than they were. I'm gonna go on over to this dirty one over here. Once again, quite clean, quite clean. You have, uh, you can actually see the brake. It's not coated in a bunch of gunk. But um, yeah, we're gonna go take this out. I used the whole can on all four of the uh, brakes. As you can see, they actually look like, <laughs> like, straight from the factory color and all that gunko it really blew all that stuff off that was quite uh, quite really something we're gonna go get the test run ready the can said to let it air dry or uh, wipe down with a cloth i just let it air dry it took about 10 minutes it evaporated quite quickly so we're gonna take it on on its maiden voyage let's get it so for the end of this uh video to check and see if these things this, this actually works we're gonna go be driving around this a little uh, my neighborhood area over here. A lot of stop and starts, lots of uh, turns, lots of that. I got all the windows in the car down so we can hear all the sounds. And here goes the first turn. Nothing at all. Okay, we're um, probably gonna take like 10 turns throughout this, maybe five, 10 turns. Come to a complete stop and all that. We, we are zero, four, Five. We're going out of five right here, so we're pulling up to this stop sign. A little bit of squeak, a little bit of squeak. I got that one. We are one for five, but I'm surprised we still 
only had the uh, squeak go once. It's usually all the time. Once again, no squeak. We're coming up to another stop sign. See if we get a squeak right here. No squeak. So out of five, we are actually three for no squeak and one squeak out of five. We're gonna go pull up to another stop sign, maybe take another turn. See if we can get this going on. It's definitely better than it usually is, but it didn't completely solve the problem. Unless we just go flawless. Maybe I'll keep, let's just keep going till 10. Maybe we can just go flawless out here. So, I'm gonna go uh, straight over here. Yeah, so, I mean, it's better. You can't go wrong. I mean, brakes will cost you hundreds of dollars. You buy a can for three bucks and your brakes are a little bit better from the most part of what I've seen. So here we go, another deceleration, put on the brakes, a little bit of squeak, nothing too serious. Sounds like it's coming from a different brake. It was coming from the front, went before and after. No, no squeal right there. So if we're going for 10, so far we got a total of uh, two squeaks out of six. So better, better, but is it there? Nah, it's... You're gonna have to deal with a little bit of squeaks, but it's, it definitely calms down the chatter. Like, if you try to talk to these brakes, maybe they won't talk to you. Sometimes they might. But uh, another, I'm gonna go a little bit heavier on the deceleration right here. A little bit of squeak, heavy deceleration into the turn. Just very minor, very, very minor. It almost completely gets rid of the problem, but it doesn't completely get rid of the problem. That is gonna end uh, this video on um, the little AutoZone aerosol brake cleaner. The three dollar way to somewhat fix your brakes, not all the way, just somewhat. In my opinion, it is completely worth it. If you have three dollars and eighteen cents in my area, burning a hole in your pocket, you could take your brakes from chirping up a storm, sounding like you're like scratching your rotors with like a sword, to er, just a little, 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 little bit of squeak. And that's fine, like that's, that's not bad. A little squeak every once in a while, not every single time, could be a lot worse. I hope you guys got a little bit of insight, maybe trust those cans a little bit more. I definitely do. No squeak at all, out of, out of seven times, there we go. Yeah, I'm cutting it right here. I think we definitely moved a step in the right direction. Is it completely fixed? I think brakes are gonna have to be the uh, way to fix it 100%, but brake cleaner, it's got a thumbs up in my book, maybe two thumbs up definitely a lot better than it was. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed.